What are the five core things that every new mother needs to know about breast milk and breastfeeding? Hello, my friends. I'm Jessica Salmon, breastfeeding specialist and mother to three, and I'm dedicated to guiding and supporting you through the first year of parenting so that you can mother with confidence and clarity because I believe that healthy mothers raise healthy families. I have the privilege and the honor of working with a lot of mothers after birth to help them establish a comfortable feeding pattern and to learn how to breastfeed with confidence. And these are the things that I always, always, always wanna leave my mothers with. The five core principles that I just want them to know immediately, if they, even if they get nothing else from me. If they can walk away with these five, it's been a great meeting. And stay tuned to the end of the video where I'll give you my number one most important tip that I give mothers. Your milk is gold. And I'm not just talking about the color. It is gonna be kind of goldish, yellowish for those first few days, but I'm talking about the quality. It is amazing. It is the baby's first line of defense against any kind of infection. It coats their gut. It protects them from things that are in the hospital if you're giving birth in the hospital. It is what's being coined as their baby's first vaccine. It is packed with antibodies to help them fight infection. It is gold. It's amazing. Number four, breastfeeding should not hurt. If anyone is telling you, oh, it just hurts you. Yeah, your nipples will bleed. Don't worry, they'll toughen up. They'll scab over. You'll get kind of like calluses on them. Don't listen to any of this. <laughs> this is terrible advice because it should not hurt you. Breastfeeding should not hurt you. Your nipples should not bleed. They should not crack. That is a sign of a improper latch, a shallow latch. And if it hurts, unlatch. Don't grit your teeth and just bear with it and just be like, mm, it's supposed to hurt me. It's not. It shouldn't hurt you at all. So don't tolerate pain when you're breastfeeding. Unlatch, you can start as many times as you want um, until you and your baby figure out a comfortable position, a good latch, but don't suffer through the pain. Don't do it. It shouldn't hurt. If you're getting any sort of benefit from this video, I'll just ask you to like and subscribe and comment down below any kind of information or advice that somebody's given you that has helped you or something that you wanna pass on that all new mothers will know from your own experience. Number three, your milk is medicine. This, it, I'm still so excited about this, but when I found out about this with my milk, I was like, man, this thing is amazing. Women are incredible. Why did nobody tell me this? Because I had always been told like, oh, breast is best. Oh mm, yeah, breast milk, so good but I never was understood why it was good. Once I learned this, it's like this, this is why, this is like the secret ingredient because your milk changes in composition throughout the day, but it also will change based on your baby's individual needs. So what I'm saying is that if your baby comes across somebody with a cold and they start nursing, they've been exposed to this virus, right? Your milk is literally changing in that second as it's picking up these cues from your baby to boost different vitamins in the milk to give them more antibodies to fight the infection. It is personalized, customized medicine for your baby. And that's incredible. I just think it's so cool that your milk is changing every single time they nurse to give them more of what they need as an individual. Like it's, it's amazing. Number two, your milk is complete. It is a complete food source for your baby. I have one caveat. Your body is not gonna produce DHA, which is really, really important for brain development. So you need to be taking that as a supplement. You need a supplemental DHA to boost that in the milk. Otherwise, and also in your own body. But otherwise, your milk is a complete food. Whether you eat fast food takeout every single day, your milk is gonna be superfood for your baby. It's not gonna be fast food milk. It's, but what it's doing is it's taking the nutrients from your body to give to your baby, which is why, another reason we need to be nourishing ourselves, we need to be eating well. We need to be eating good, nourishing, iron-rich foods. And the number one thing I want all mummies to know 
is breastfeeding is supply demand. There is a lot of really good marketing out there that will tell you if you just take one thing of this, you will now have an abundance of milk. And it is mostly anecdotal because there are certain things that are really helping moms that will not help you. And there are some things that will really help you that will not help them. So it really is figuring out what it is that's helping you with like boosting milk supply. But the number one way is get the milk out of your body. The more demand there is for your milk, the more your body will supply it. Unless you have some certain medical conditions or surgeries. When milk sits, that's when you start to get engorgement, you start to get mastitis, but you also get drop in supply. There are a couple of other reasons and we're gonna go over another video later with why your milk supply might be dropping. Establishing a milk supply, get it out of your body. Get the milk out. Supply, demand, supply, demand. So there you have it, the five core tips I want every new and nursing mother to know and to understand about her breastfeeding and her milk production. I hope that this video has been helpful to you, that it's provided you with some clarity and understanding of just how incredible your body is and how incredible your milk is. And there's one last thing I do wanna leave with you, which is every drop counts. So if you're able to fully nourish your baby just on your breast milk, awesome. But if you're only able to get this much out and your baby gets that, awesome. Every single drop counts. If this video has been helpful to you, please like and subscribe to get more information on breastfeeding, postpartum, and childcare. And I would really love to hear from you guys. I really, really would. So if you will just comment below, I'd love to know if any of these points were new information for you or if there's something else that you have learned about breastfeeding or your breast milk that has been an encouragement that you want to pass on to other mothers who might read your comments. Thank you for coming. Thank you for spending this time with me. I want you to know you're doing a really, really good job and I'm really glad you're here. I'll see you next time.